Alrighty y'all, this is World Class Jerk, and today we're going to be talking about how to get saves with floating gateways in Astroneer. Now this video is going to be extremely brief because I didn't want to make it, but, but you see guys, I had to make this video because in my last video, I said, If you try hard enough, you can get a save where the gateways are floating above the ground just enough so that they will not be in your way when you're trying to flatten the ground beneath them. So I've just now decided I'm going to make a separate video on how to get saves with floating gateways that I will link right up here once it's made. And so you see, I'm a man of my word. I have to go on ahead and make this video, even though I really don't feel like it. I kind of sold myself out there. I didn't think that one through. I really regret saying that, but here it is. And you're going to learn how to get floating gateways in Astroneer. Well, guys, the good news is that I'm done complaining about my obligations, probably. But the bad news is that the tutorial starts right now. And the reason that's bad news is because this process is rather unpleasant. You see, there is random world generation in Astroneer. There are forests, there are plains, and there are mountains. There's stuff like that. And what we're trying to do is keep on remaking a save, you know, making a save and deleting it over and over again until we get a save where a particular gateway has a mountain spawned under it. And that's because when a mountain spawns under said gateway, it will push it into the sky. And when it gets pushed into the sky, all the other gateways get pushed into the sky because all gateways are at the same altitude. So the ones that aren't on mountains will also be pushed up if the ones on mountains are if any of that made sense. But guys, it's actually not quite as bad as you think. You see, you don't have to create a save, get out of the dropship, run all the way to a gateway to see if it's floating, and then delete the save if it's not over and over again, because that would take centuries. What you can do is go straight over here and then create a new save, and then on your way down in this dropship thingy, look at this gateway right here, and if it's plainly not on a mountain, then it's not on a mountain, and you don't have to walk over there and check. You can just check it the moment you create the save like this, and leave before you land, which means you don't have to delete the save afterwards, which just saves a little extra time, and then you can repeat the process over and over again. Oh, and so it looks like we've got one, guys. Right underneath that gateway, there is a mountain which has pushed it up into the sky just as we wanted, <laughs> but we're not done yet. So what you now want to do is, once you've landed, you have to make sure you land first, or it won't count as a save, and it'll just delete it immediately. So once your dropship lands, you save and quit to main menu, and instead of using that save to confirm that the gateway is high enough for your liking, you want to create a duplicate save instead. Now, the reason we're using a duplicate instead of the original save is because we basically want to store the original save in its completely unaltered form forever, so that if we want a floating gateway save for any reason, we can duplicate that save and simply use the same seed over and over again, because nobody wants to do this more than once. And so, yes, since we are on a duplicate save, there's no harm in going straight into creative mode in order to see if the gateways are high enough for our liking. Now, obviously, the gateway we saw on the way down is the closest one, but we're not going to go to that one because it's on a mountain, so we're not going to be able to see how far off the ground it is accurately. And really, it can be any other gateway as long as it's not also on a mountain. And as you can see here, guys, we actually kind of scored on this one. This gateway is definitely high enough to where you can do stuff underneath it without it harming you at all. And so that was nice and lucky, but I'm going to be honest with you, even if it wasn't high enough, I wasn't going to do it again because I already have my save. You need to go make your own now. I showed you the entire process. This is it. If this wasn't high enough, you would just delete this temporary save and delete the original save. And well, that's all you need to know. So goodbye. 